didn't always, she got burnt. She didn't always, you know, she felt like right. she had to stay covered up all the time. Yeah. And, and that's a better plan for that's, that's part of her rationale, and it's a good one. She, she cares about her health, and I'm, I love that she does. Yeah, it's important to have. Yeah, it just makes it more where you have to be intentional about when you go visit, right? It's and, like, and I have this, and I've been an uh, ecologically aware and an activist of sort for most of my life. I've been a plant-based since I was 19 years old. She's plant-based. My grandkids are plant-based for, and for ecological reasons, not for uh, ethical reasons. Yeah. Um, so... I, the idea of flying across is, is kind of counter to Yeah, it. I know, so right? So I've taken the train across three yeah, times, which is definitely a trip and a half. I'll tell you, it's more expensive. And Wait, it isn't it crazy that it's so much it, more expensive? And, and, and it takes a lot more time. Yeah, I For, know. Fortunately, I was working a good corporate job for a while, so the two of the trips I actually took the sleeper, and that was, I, I had a nice time, you know? I did the, a really cool train ride from Seattle up to Vancouver. And I oh. hear the Canadian stuff yes. is nice. It's such a beautiful like ride along the Pacific and just so neat. My kids loved it. I like trains. I wish we had high-speed trains know, in the United States. I know. When you go to Europe and you see how well they do it, you're like, my goodness. And we have, and, and you know, even look at what they're doing in Asia, which is like yeah. inch. Oh. Come on. I haven't been to Asia to experience it, but I, I haven't heard either, other than te so, television and that yeah, kind of stuff. I would love to see it though, because I was, was like, man, we're so behind with that kind of stuff. Japan, you, have you can get all, all around Japan like snappy without having to get in a plane. Yeah. We just decided to put a bunch of roads and that was going to be it. <laughs> It's oil baron stuff. Yeah. It's what it is. We're ruled by oil barons. Yeah. And I don't know how we're going to... I have so many people that I argue with me. Oh, you know, they're, it's the first EV. They're a little bit impressed. But then they go, go on the rant about, oh, but it can't replace... It's just as polluting as internal combustion. And it's no really no better. And and it's all just oil baron propaganda is really what it is. Right, right. And the one that I hit him back with is the first folks I know that uh, went bought into Tesla also bought um, solar panels. And they drive for free. Yeah. And they have been driving for free. Uh, Andrew bought his uh, original uh, Tesla in 2012. He was one of the people that put down the deposit before you could even get the car. Yeah. It, yep. And uh, he, he's been driving for free forever, it, 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 because you can make your own electricity. You cannot make your own petroleum, and nobody can. And it's the only place on the in the universe. We're not talking about Earth. We're talking about the universe where you're going to find petroleum. You're going to find gold, lithium, all the minerals, all all over. You're going to find them on asteroids. You're going to find it on the moon. There's like tons of it on the moon. We could be mining the moon and we wouldn't have to worry about ecological disasters or anything like that. All that's within tech, you know, within imaginary, imaginary possibilities. But I don't care how good of imagination you have, you're not going to find petroleum on the moon or on Mars or anywhere because it requires dead life. And we make plastics out of it. We make so many, so much stuff. Out. And what are our great great grandkids gonna use to make this stuff if we burnt it all? Right to stay on it's mind boggling. But we do it a little bit where we can. Well, yeah, but yeah. That's all we can do. I figured the only real power we have is where we spend my do spend our dollars. So I bought an EV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. You know, it, it does make a difference. Because it's, it's, it is the little things that add up, you know. None of us can do it all by ourselves. We can do much by ourselves, but if we each do our own little bits. Yep, this is cool. I've coming across the airport like this before.